it's the origin of plant life. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. But when you do, you probably don't think this single-celled organism could one day solve world hunger. When I think of algae, I think of like pond scum and that gross green stuff. But you guys are basically counting on the fact that algae is going to change the world. The core technology is to convert a wide variety of plant sugars into oils and proteins. We can take completely non-edible feedstocks that don't come from farmed land and the algae can actually eat the sugars from that material and they can make edible oils and edible proteins. The company didn't start out trying to make food oils. They were going after sustainable fuel by trying to be the first plant to power a plane ride. And they did it, but it wasn't the greatest of business models. It turned out to be tough and expensive. So they came up with another application for algae. We spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make ideal fuels that would be good in an airplane or a, a ship or a car. And once we realized that we could tailor the oils that the algae produced, we realized, well, hey, we're not a fuels company, we're an oils company. If you think about saturated fat as a major problem and a serious indicator of heart disease in the United States, we can produce oils that have less saturated fat than any oil on the supermarket shelf today. When the population continues to grow, we're going to need new sources of protein. So the fact that we can make a protein-rich material that can be put into different foods is invaluable. After we have a strain we're interested in, we can start from a single cell that's stable and generate hundreds of these vials, and then each vial is used in our process. So we have an endless supply of oil from a single, single cell. cell. So you don't have to worry about the quantity right. in which you're finding these algae cells. That's right. Would you see these products being sold in a health food store and, or at like a mass market chain? Our job is just to make this as normal in the kitchen as, a, as a, you know, another ingredient like a flour or an egg. So we have a bunch of different products uh, which are made for microalgae. Some of what we have is just dried algae. Um, which you can see is just this beautiful yellow color. Right, it's not green. It's not green. When I think of algae, I think green. It's yellow because it contains lutein. Okay. And lutein is normally found in marigolds, which is why you get the color of marigolds. And this is the healthy oil where we separate the algae from the oil itself. We will replace eggs, butter, and oil. So we'll take that out and we'll put back this back in. So we've halved the fat, we've taken out all the cholesterol, we've taken out a bunch of saturated fat. So we've improved the nutrition. So when you taste the ice cream, if I told you it's 50% less fat, you're going to think it's going to be cold and thin and watery and right. icy. Right, and who wants that when you're talking ice cream? Right, you want indulgent, creamy, and, right. and you just want it to be this warm bite um, and indulgence. And that's what you're going to see. Oh, yeah. Right? Very smooth. Totally tastes like normal ice cream. Yeah, so it's that warm, thick, creamy uh, I would have flavor. no idea that this was low-fat ice cream. Right, so you can serve it to your family, to your kids, and they're not going to complain. Right, because this right now, I mean, this would be a luxury product. The bread and the ice cream, they're not exactly about solving world hunger. Anymore. Yeah, I think of it more as solving the problem of empty nutrition. So we're trying to replace just food and empty calories with, with great nutrition. But in order to reach those who need great nutrition, Solazine will have to jump two major hurdles. One, set up these algae fermentation tanks in remote areas of the world, and two, get people to find algae oil appetizing. Innovation in food is very, very rare. Ordinarily, it's incremental. Um, this is a real step change in what we can do for not only food manufacturers who are wrestling every day with you know, consumers' demand for tasty food that's convenient and accessible for price. Well, with these ingredients, we can up the nutrition value of those without impacting any one of those. So if you're looking at billions more people, it, you need a step change, a breakthrough ingredient, and, and this one is the world's oldest source of nutrition being repurposed today to solve today's problems.